Hello, Space Cadets. I'm Colonel Failure, and this is Stardius. 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 Don't know. Uh, the one thing I do know is that the logo is from 1996. And that's, it's not necessarily a bad thing. What is it? It's Rimworld on a spaceship that's knackered. Uh, I've, uh, I've decided to call my spaceship the Sweaty Marsupial. And uh, my game seed, for those of you who like a game seed, is 13994488845.com. Uh, let's, uh, let's kick this punk into gear. Uh, Earth has perished. Oh no, what a shame. Uh, survivors are roaming the universe in search of a new home. You're hibernating in the sweaty marsupial. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, an arc vessel equipped with an... Right, I've played through the I've actually played a good couple of hours of this so far, and I like it. Uh, and therefore, I don't need the tutorial or any of that caper. I already know what's what and what's up, and, and hopefully I can, I can illuminate a little for you what's up and what's what. Uh, here is my spaceship. Ship's broken, Stegs. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, our aim is, is simply to survive. Now, what we've got going on here is we've got the ship's core. I'm paused at the moment. Uh, we've got the ship's core. Okay, the ship computer. Uh, that'll produce a little bit of electricity, which we can use. Uh, there's there's all kinds of stuff that's powered off at the moment, and there's wreckage all over the place, uh, which is, yeah, yeah, bad things have happened, you see, which is why I'm here to fix it all. Uh, I've got a shuttle here that at the moment is in one piece. It probably won't stay that way. Uh, this is the cryo chamber. All right, fine, stasis array. Call it whatever you like. That's full of people, and from time to time they will wake up but if we were to uh, if we were to explore the area right here you'll see that that particular area is minus 273 degrees centigrade bit parky and uh, and there's no oxygen groovy so anybody who does wake up there probably will regret it soon after uh, but there's loads of colonists in there actually I have no idea how many colonists there are in there I'm reliably informed there are loads um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's what it is. There are other things that I can go and salvage. And then we've got one area that still has power over here where we've got Josiah, whose name is about to be changed. And, uh, his name is going to be changed to, uh, yeah, Turk. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you need a good, you've got to have a good, uh, space name. Uh, and that's Turk Ramjet. Yeah. Spelt correctly. Yes. Thank you, Turk. Uh, and uh, Suspender, that's not a name. No, that's the oh, Kyrie Suspender Marin. Is it? Okay, all right. Well, uh, I think you'll find it's actually Frank. Yeah. Uh, no nickname. No, doesn't have one. Doesn't deserve one. Uh, trombone. And the two of them are uh, are our last surviving members of uh, of crew. Well, it's, I mean, it sucks to be them. Frankly, there's there's uh, a little bit. Of, is there any power going on here? I thought there was some power going on here. Uh, either way, there is a little bit of environment going on here because we've got a heater, we've got an oxygen generator. It's just not hooked up to the grid, so I've got no control over it at the moment. Uh, and then lots of broken bits of spaceship. So I've somehow got to make this work. We haven't got. We're not able to propel ourselves. We're not able to go anywhere. It's just a disaster. The good news, though, is that what I do have are lots and lots of robots. Uh, well, I've got half a dozen robots, right, who will do my bidding and uh, and they'll get to work. So even if all the humans die, <laughs> which is going to happen, uh, I do have all these robots that are badly named. Uh, I'm going to set about renaming them now. Okie dokie, the team have been renamed, and uh, and so the first job on the list is to uh, is to set them up with some charging capabilities. Uh, so I'm going to get some get some power on the go. Uh, you you build menus off a radial job, and it's it's relatively easy to use. We'll go with the old matter generator here. Now they're quite happy to operate in a vacuum. That's the uh, that's the major benefit you get of these uh, these Johnny robots. Is they're not too fussed about uh, about temperature, oxygen, any of that sort of thing, but they do need a little bit of battery once in a while, and I'm I'm quite happy to do that. Uh, we've got oxygen. We've got stuff in the wrong area. Uh, this is the, a space suit. We need to we need to move these. Hang on, uh, space suit. Relocate that now. If I get 
the spacesuit parts over here to my surviving humies, uh, they can they can go off on an, on an adventure and contribute towards the reconstruction of things, which is super. The only downside, of course, is that I've got to go find all of the bits of the spacesuit first, and they're they're littered all over the place. This is the standard loadout that you get when you play the game, and it always has all the same stuff, but obviously the seed spreads it around all over the place. Sounds vaguely rude, but I assure you it isn't. Uh, we're going to need this as well. This is a reactor efficiency upgrade. That's one of the other things on your early scavenger hunt. Uh, let's relocate that over here because we'll be needing it in a moment. Um, and then it's just there should be another bit of spacesuit and then a space helmet. Now we could try it. Let's 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 have a look. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm working on it. I know what's coming. Right, you've got that bit. That's good. Where's the other one? What have we got here? That's another bit of spacesuit, which is good. Uh, let's relocate that. The colonists will stick it on for themselves. You've got no direct control over everything. Much in a, a rim worldy kind of a way, you tell them what to do and they go and figure out how to do it. I rather suspect Turk here is, is hanging out in an unsafe area. Yeah, Turk, stay near the power generators and stuff. It'll keep you alive longer because this vent, which is, I mean, it's closed at the moment, but... It's unpowered, and then anything could be happening. Uh, this door is currently unlocked. It's not venting, is it? No, it's not. Okay, well, that's that's something, I suppose. Um, right, yeah, it'll it'll turn up. You think got things like a pet bowl going on there? Don't nah, don't need a pet bowl. Not a moment. Um, we would we, we do want this solar panel though. So let's uh, let's relocate that over onto what will be. The, uh, the primary area of the ship. Now, solar panels, you've got to dangle them outside off, uh, off something uh, something attached to your ship. Uh, but we're in, we're in good shape. Right, I've got my generator up here. This will be enough to get me started, at least for a little while. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's bung in a connector. I mean, if I was smart, I'd go and get a floor socket now. Oh, all right then, yeah, I'll go and get a floor socket now. You can build these pylons. And they're good for going long distances, but what you want is uh, floor or wall sockets, of which there are a few around. Can't build any more, so you're, you're all about the scavenging what's out there already. There's another solar cell, we'll grab that in a minute. Another battery, we'll go grab that. Because your, your little robot dudes, they can fly out and everything. They're great. This is really useful, the particle collector, but I'm not, uh, not quite ready for that yet. Uh, and when it, when, it, when it goes, as it will, You'll be sad, so uh, so treasure it while you have it. Here we go. This is what we want: one floor socket, and uh, bring this over here, please. Now, this circle around the outside shows the range uh, that the the power can reach. So this is actually quite a quite a low range job. You've missed your ship there, Guff. Yeah, well, I'm I'm new, and therefore I haven't really familiarised myself with where everything is yet. Uh, which way are we going to want to go? Well, if you, yeah, actually, there's a that's as good a place as any. So we slap that in. Let's. Uh, I'll just up the tempo a little bit, and then we'll uh, we'll get to work. We should do some. Yeah, all of that. It's just telling me I need to repair things, and I go. Yeah, I will. Just not yet. I'm in the I'm in the middle of stuff now. I've got robots sitting around doing nothing at the moment, which is unhelpful. But not for long. Right. First job. Connect this up to that. All right. Connect that up to this. No, it probably needs repairing. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix it up. All right. Gone. Fisher Price there is giving it a bit of a fix. I've, I've named me robots after various mobile telephones uh, from over the years. Don't show me that again. It's saying that that pop-up message there was if you are connecting electrical things while you've got the game paused, it might not update immediately, so you're better off unpausing before you and so on. And I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. Right, we've got power going onto the grid now means that I can now configure the old fuel generator and we're going to burn steel plate. Yeah, you might not think that steel plate would burn that well, but apparently it's a perfectly viable fuel. So evidently the matter reactor can just, you know, split atoms and nucleides and and electrons and, and gubbins, right? And, uh, and in doing so, uh, make you some jolly electricity. There we go, we're making some jolly electricity. Uh, we've got the battery, which is already fully charged. We're evidently making way more electricity than we need to, but that's not going to last. Uh, we'll hook up the uh, solar power plant that we've got here. 
It's not a very good one. Um, no, so solar panels, you're going to need thousands of them. And then you're going to get interstellar flipping dust storms, uh, which knock them out for extended periods. And you go, ah, no, ah, no. if only I hadn't relied on renewables and I'd kept some the ability to burn steel plates. And you go, oh, yeah, well, joke's on you, isn't it? Because um, that's, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, right. I'm just going to go and hoover up a couple more solar panels while I'm while I'm feeling like it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, relocate that. If I were to order deconstruction, instead it would tear it apart and I'd get the parts back. Not necessarily a bad thing to do, but since I can't manufacture solar panels at the start of the game, I'm going to keep them. Um, right, I want you moved, please. Yeah, you, move it. Or are you so broken that I can't move it? Press, press all the buttons. No, you've got to repair it first. Okay. All right, well, go and, get it, go and get that repaired. We'll move this battery. Thank you. Keep all your eggs in one basket. And ideally, that basket should be safe and full of robots. Uh, and, then, uh, and then everything will be, will be squeaky clean and perfect. Uh, right, what else have we got going on here power-wise? So I've got a couple of doors that are just hanging open in that way that doors do. But I'm not going to pressurise this area just yet, anyway. So I'm not too I'm not too fussed about that. I'd rather keep the uh, the electricity intact. Uh, yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna want that once I start. Oh no, beg your pardon. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, Gave me the boop boop of of you've done that wrong. It does that quite a bit early on. You go. I don't understand. Why am I? What are you saying to me? Right. Anyway, we're now in a position to hook up my robot charging station. Uh, where should we stick it? Oh, anywhere you like. All right, I'll stick it there. Uh, just to, just a. I mean, this is a semi-tutorial, I suppose. So I'll, I'll tell you stuff. I was Fox. Do you see how it says times one underneath at the bottom there, and that says times three, and that says times two. My initial thought was, oh, that's how many I can build based on the number of resources I've got at the moment. All right, you know, like they're doing video games. Um, but no, no, hang on, no, no, cancel that. Just no, no I didn't want to build another one. Um, no, that's not the case. That's how many you've got already. You go, well, it had to be one or the other, didn't it? You go, well, it didn't have to be one or the other, but it is one or the other. So, uh, there you go. It's That's how many you've got, not how many you can make. Yeah. Right, we need to repair or deconstruct. Oh, there's just so much of that. No, you can go away. Upgrade me matter reactor. Didn't I do that already? Uh, upgrades. No, evidently I didn't. All right, give me the, uh... Efficiency, uh, ding dong, please. Someone will slap that in. They'll just go and get this and slot it in there, and it'll be efficient and so forth. And there, so we'll knock that off the list. Uh, provide a charge station. Done so. Should be able to take that off my action item list, I think you'll find. Uh, or failing that, I mean, you should be rewarding me for having made one, because I have. Huh? Yeah? No? Yeah, that, I mean, that would... Uh, yeah, update me. Matter reactor, that's good. Right, now I've got to go and find all the bits of the space suit. It's not important that you do, but it's helpful if you go and do that. But I'm not I'm not too fussed. I think we will start our odyssey into the unknown. So let's, uh, let's get some structure being built here. There are floor parts galore. You can actually make some really funky uh, ship designs. The only downside is that the walls are all, you know, standard right angle style walls only. So in terms of beautifully angular ships uh, that look like uh, they've just come back from the shoulder of Orion, not so much. Um, no, you know, that's, that's not a thing that's going to happen quite so often. Object in an unsafe space is, is the pet bed. I'm going to tell her what we'll do with the pet bed. Yeah, go on. What are we going to do with that? Well, what I want to do with it is I want to uh, I want to destroy it. I can't. I I'm not about. We'll just we'll just move over here because there is at least some life support there. Um, I'm not about saving the animals because there are animals frozen in carbonite as well, and we'll be thawing them out in the fullness of time. You don't get any choice. They just thaw out and go. Ta-da! There you go. Someone useless. And you go. Brilliant. That's that's exactly what we want. All right, let's get some repairs going on the hull here. In fact, it's just a bit of wall. Because once I power this up, it does actually provide its own life support a little. Well, would it not behoove you to, to kind of get to work on that as well? 
Yeah. Yeah, it would. Right, okay, so let's give it some of that. This stripey stuff, largely for show, but it's reinforced flooring. Yeah. That's probably why it's still intact, whereas all the other flooring is all busted. Uh, that's a heater. Very useful. We will want that shortly. Uh, but not right now. Right, let's get this other solar panel up. And then I think we can probably look at... For, tell me where they are. No, I've tried that before, bruv. It says go look in the inventory, right? Which tells me everything that we've found so far. And what we need, uh, sort me by alphabetical or similar. Thank you. We want the space helmet. Which obviously it's not going to do. It's going to, it's going to direct me to that which I've already got. The inventory in this sense providing me nothing of any use at all. Nothing useful in the slides. I'm just going to have to go and look for it. And it will turn up. It will it will be relatively obvious if you're looking straight at it. But until you look straight at it, it won't be slightly obvious even remotely. Not even remotely slightly obvious. There's an engine. We're a, we're a long way from that. Don't get your hopes up. Um, yeah, no. Uh, on my test game, I think I played, played about eight hours and uh, still hadn't got the engines fired up. Now, I was going at a discover it all for yourself kind of pace, which is never the most efficient you're going to find. Um, but uh, but they go, what's all these skulls? Dead people and aliens. Oh, yeah, aliens, they're a thing. So are pirates uh, and invading robot monsters and all of that kind of caper. It's dreadfully, dreadfully unhappy universe that we're in. And the ship's busted. Yeah, and uh, and we we haven't in, we haven't even got insurance on it, so you know, tough. I've got an unreachable area. That's not going to last. Apparently, this is unreachable. What about this door? It's not unreachable. You're having a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the enclosed areas I, that we just looked at. The, the thing that popped up is over here somewhere. It's it's one of these. There's an awful lot of different overlays that you can get, which is useful, but ultimately whatever. Um, uh, show me rooms. There you go. Room two, and you kind of go, ah, oh, yeah, great. Room two, over there. You know what would be really nice at this point to be able to rename it so that you could go like, this is the survival room, or this is the engine room, or all of that kind of thing. Now, I suspect that will be coming because it's just too useful not to be on their uh, on their action item list. But it's at the moment you're stuck with it being called room two, and you kind of go, oh, goody, yeah, great, yes. That's what I'm all about. Anyway, we're going to work on powering up the uh, the stasis center. Now, that may uh, uh, exacerbate the speed at which people start to crop up out of there, and they're all going to be ruddy miserable because the spaceship's broken, and they, you know, they bought tickets that guaranteed them a bit of a spaceship to ride on. Well, I mean, to be fair, they have got a bit of a spaceship to ride on, but... I think they'd rather hoped for one that was not spread out over quite so much of space. Well, that's on them. Uh, I should have read the brochure more thoroughly. No, no, I don't want walls. Not yet. Let's get the let's get flooring done. Right, which way are we going to go out of here? I think we come out down here. Now, slightly longer. It's too long. Yeah. There is a technology that I could learn. I could go and research the winch, at which point you... Uh, you tow bits of broken spaceship into one another. Now, I'll admit, that sounds like a lot of fun, and I haven't tried it, so I don't know how much fun it is or isn't. Um, but uh, I'll be honest, I find it easier just to tear bits of broken spaceship apart and turn them into bits of it's now working spaceship. So this whole section down here, I'm going to tear that apart. My, my initial goal is simply going to be to link this to that which we're in the process of doing. Then I'll shred all of this lot here, gather up all of this gubbins, stick it in a hutch or some such, and uh, and then build something that looks vaguely space worthy while building a lot of armor around the outside of it and, uh, and then working towards, you know, defenses and, and all of that kind of business. But we're not, we're just not there yet. Not by quite a stretch. Can I build storage yet? No. No, you can't. Okay, all right. I think you have to... F it's got a register that you've built a charging station. But I have built a charging station. 
Maybe if I were to build another one, it would be happier with me. I can always take it apart again afterwards. It's another, it's, it's another one of those games that I approve of, where if you build something and then tear it apart again, um, you get all of the stuff back, which is great. You'll see that the T28 has leveled up to level 2 in construction. They've got skills. I should I should probably show you that. Let's look at the Blackberry. Uh, yep, yep, Blackberry. Blackberry, hold, slow it down a bit. There you go. Uh, so if we're going to the managed worker here, you'll see Blackberry can do hauling, maintenance, bit of self-maintenance, bit of rescue. It's got all of that going on. Uh, right, yeah. That's, that's all happening. In the tutorial, it gives you some convoluted bit of education about driving robots around for themselves. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, sounds great, but I haven't found a practical application for it yet. Um so uh, i'm just going to leave that as is and uh I'm, and we'll we'll see the error of my ways when we get to it yeah yeah i'm leaving that bit open in order to build an airlock in a minute you see yeah i mean i'm going to make this airtight even though i don't i lack the uh, facilities to actually provide life support and stuff like that at the moment it's not going to stay that way oh no no over time We'll, we'll have all of this very much under control. Bit of uranium, since you're asking. Um, no, we'll have, we'll have all this under control before you know it. Well, I say before you know it. It'll be a couple of episodes' time, I reckon. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep pressing on in that direction. So here's one of the bigger pylons. Yeah, handy. Uh, and so if I keep that within the catchment radius of the old plug socket there, I can plug it in and daisy-chain the two together. So I'll do that then. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Do you want to go find that last bit of spacesuit? Yeah, I'd like to. Oh, Elise has joined the colony. Hello, Elise. She's woken up. Dan died. <laughs> ah. Well, it was, it was nice to know you, Elise. So it will tell me what, how she died. Uh, cold. Yep. Yep, that's because it's uh, minus 273 degrees centigrade. And... We're just not ready for you yet. But this pod just keeps waking people up and you just kind of go, Pfft. well, that was, that was foolhardy. What's this? Oh, that's a disassembler. We're, we're, we'll, we'll get it activated, don't you worry. You can't do everything at once. Um, the, the other interesting thing is until you upgrade your computer, there is a finite uh, number of jobs that you can undertake at a time, which is kind of cool. Uh, right, do you need repairing? Yeah. Okay, let's get you repaired then. Let's uh, slap a door in here. Airlocks, important. Also, building a big long corridor like this, it's just asking for the big hurt. I should be putting an interstitial corridor in there, but I'm not going to. Not not now. I might do a bit later. But uh, this is this is my uh, this is my stage one ship. You see, when we're when we're talking about a stage two ship that actually looks a bit more like a ship, then uh, then we'll build it with you know. The rudiments of survival kind of built in there. I think you need another airlock about midway there. And we'll do it both sides. Yeah. Uh, the, incidentally, these doors that I'm building, they, as much as they serve as an airlock, they're not actually airlocks. So they don't actually trap any gases inside and keep things safe. They're just doors. Um, but the nice thing about it is that once you have got a, any kind of an environment established, it doesn't drain out instantly if you open the door. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, which makes venting to space a rather good means of putting out bonfires, uh, which will happen, obviously, because, you know, we're in space, and in space everyone can hear you catch fire and die. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's uh, it's useful to have. What's that? It's just a bit of floor. Okay. You've got these bits of computer gizmo, which we'll need for, for research shortly. Anything else? Yeah, there's loads, loads else. I'm just, I'm just having a quick look for another pylon. I don't relocate this bad boy. Rather than build it myself, you know, I'm, uh, I'm make do and mend. Yeah, because that's the thing. Uh, right, let's stick that over there. That's the weakness of pylons. You see, you can only have eight connections. Floor socket, thirty-two connections, which is why it's ideal for the, uh, for the space centre here. All right, tune, slap that in. And, oh, it's not going to let me have it until I've built an 8 to 20 connector. All right, okay, fine. I've got to build a pylon. All right. 
fine, I'll build a pylon, and then you can be, you know, happy about it. That's that's what that's what I was missing. Yeah, we get rewards, you see, for completing these these bits of quest. Yeah, it's it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's all right. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna hook these doors up. Let's uh, let's close in what atmosphere there isn't. That's out of range. Okay, fine. That's out of range. Oh, good. You didn't put this in the right place then. Not as such, no. Uh, oh, you've got a battery there that you haven't hooked up. Okay, cool. What? It's broken. All right, hang on. Doesn't tell you it's broken. Experience, you see, told me that that was broken. That's just a bit of light lighting on the floor. You get little floor lights. Which is, do you need little floor lights? No, you don't need a little floor light. No. That, right. Uh, I want this. I want to take it apart, please. Uh, and deconstruct it. Because we'll need the we'll need the tools, but because it was waiting for me to build one of these, and then hook it up to the grid. There you go. See, there you are. I can now. I've got blueprints for copper wire transistors, repair stations, and storage units. And storage unit is what I want next. And you're going to have to see what happens with that. All right, spoilers. What happens with that is uh, you put stuff in it, and it just stops the place looking quite as untidy as it obviously is. Um, yeah, it's not that riveting, but I like it because it makes the place look less untidy. Yeah. I've been Colonel Failure. Stay tuned for the next gripping episode and the adventures of the sweaty marsupial. Uh, subscribe if you can be bothered, and I'll uh, catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.